Hey YouTube, Minnesota Eric here. So I don't know if you remember, but earlier in this year, I got this really cool welding fabbing table. Now Mark, what do you think about the new industrial card playing table? Nobody can get angry and flip it over. No, no, you're not going to do that. It's a safety card playing table. Might be good for welding too. Along the way, I added an 8 inch Kenmore reversible vise, and boy, what a workhouse that rascal has turned out to be. Love it. And I finally got a project that I wanted to show you how this welding table worked. I got a plasma cutting table, and I wanted to put it on wheels, so I'm going to make up a little quick little cart for it for the plasma cutting table so I could roll it around. But really what I'm trying to do is show you how cool this fab table is. Hey YouTube. This is Eric. Today I gotta do a little fabbing. You see the table trying to spin on me while I'm cutting there. Well, subsequently I added a foot brake to stop that from happening. That's mounted between the bottom of the work surface and the frame that it spins on. Here I'm using a flap disc to grind off the powder coat so I can properly weld all these ends together. Proper preparation is the key to getting good, good welds. And here I take my time to make sure I get all that powder coat ground off. I checked the square of these first corners twice before I spot weld them down. In a small shop where I really don't have the space to move the welder around my work, here's where I really like the rotating top of this small welding table. Gas flow problems. All cleaned up.
using a flap disc, I grind my welds flat. But I gotta be careful to make sure I don't send the sparks towards my camera. Yep, that rotisserie is nice to have. So the table spins on these really heavy duty casters and they're greasable as you can see. And then here's the lock. Now I welded a little extra tab on it to give me a little leverage with the hand because it's supposed to be a foot lock. And then the entirety of the surface of the table is filled with these uh, half inch coarse thread holes for fixturing anything pretty much you want to fixture. I haven't really used them much, but uh, these also, where's the drawer? That's the back side of the drawer. There's a drawer where all of this is held. So all the bolts for fixturing as long as, as well as a few other clamps for fixturing are all held in here in this drawer below. And that drawer is on bowl sliders. Hey, thanks for watching YouTube. I'm sorry that I haven't had more content coming out lately, but I've had really major uh, computer problems with an aging uh, Macintosh i27 or iMac 27 inch, and, and I'm, uh, I'm hoping that Apple will come out with the new GoFast version of iMacs uh, come this spring, because their, their new 24 inch iMacs don't quite cut it for doing Final Cut Pro video. <laughs> Anyway, hey, I've had major hassles, and I really apologize. That it's a little, it's it's uh, taken a long way around to import uh, media, and uh, so I've just had a production hassle, and that's why you haven't seen so much content, and when why this content's a bit late too. So anyway, hey, hang in there, and I tell you what, uh, uh, why don't you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more randomness, but then by all means subscribe. Till we meet again, YouTube. Bye bye.